Hey guys, today we're going to do an unboxing and review of Venture Unloaded for the Atari 2600. Venture Reloaded is a remake of the original Venture for the Atari 2600. It has a number of changes to it. I'm not exactly sure at this point what changes there were made, so we're going to open this bad boy up and look and see what's going on here. So let's open it up. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, there's a look at the back of the box. If you want to pause the video and read that, I won't read it and bore you to death. Let's see what's in this box. I'm excited to check this out. We're going to do some gameplay on this also. That is some cool label art. Let's see what the side label looks like. Yeah, look at that. That really looks cool. It's got the Atari Age on it. Set this out of the way. <clears throat> Let's look at the book. Plays and scores. I'm sorry. Play sounds and scores like the Venture Arcade game. All right. They, they kind of have it set up to where you you assume they assume that you don't know how to uh, operate an Atari twenty six hundred, which is kind of like the way they used to do in the old old days. Here's how to play: plus press the red button on the controller to start a game. The reset switch can also be used to start a game. The left and right difficulty switches are not used. Winky will begin in the treasure room and pick up his bow and arrow and descend to the first dungeon. Okay, Winky is in the hallway and he appears as a small dot. Beware the treacherous hall monsters. Winky's arrows cannot hurt them. So you have to make it to the chamber without being touched by a monster. Okay, just like the original 2600 version. Okay trying to see if there's a place where there's an explanation of the differences between this version and the original version okay here we go venture reloaded has many improvements over the original venture game for the atari 2600 including a treasure screen added a third dungeon added all 36 treasures Rooms become solid on the dungeon screen when completed. Rooms will, expand, uh, rooms will expand or shrink on enter and exit. Music is all brand new with multiple tunes. Monsters are now animated. All monster graphics, all treasure graphics, and some room graphics are new. Room name, level, room name, level number, bonus multiplier, Score and lives are alternately displayed in game. And the speed of the game is improved. The original was considered slow. Winky will move up and down walls when entering them from an angle. Screen flashes red when Winky dies. Hall monsters enter chambers at a random corner. Wall room speed increases with levels. Spider Room Special Event. Gather the treasure and two white spiders appear. Cyclops Room's Special Event. One random Cyclops will teleport out of, the, out of harm's way. Eventually that Cyclops will run out. Eventually that Cyclops will run out of teleports and can be killed. Numerous bug fixes from the original game. Major code replacement and rewrites. Tweaks and tweaks and tweaks. 
Very nice. All right. Let's try this bad boy out. For anyone who's ever watched any of my videos, you'll know that I generally don't comment during gameplay. First, I can't walk and chew gum at the same time, but I'm also very animated while I play, so I don't think you really want to hear that. I'm going to let you guys see some gameplay for a few minutes so you can see the different changes that have been made to the game and to the new level. I'm basically playing through the game enough to get to the third level, which I've never seen. I will say that during gameplay it is definitely faster than the original venture. I also like the sounds during gameplay. Well, that wraps it up for my first look at Venture Reloader for the Atari 2600. If you like what you've seen here, give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Be part of our never-ending search to discover all things in retro gaming. Have a blessed day and we'll see you next time.